What's up guys, doing another Spirit Halloween walkthrough. This is a new Spirit Halloween that just opened up actually closer to me. Not that close, but it's a little bit closer than the previous couple that I've been to already. Uh, today is the 20, 20th of August and we're, we're getting that hurricane, all the state of emergency and everything, but really nothing going on in my area down here in Southern California, just, just some rain, but it's freaking hot out here. Only reason why I'm wearing a jacket is because of the rain. All right, I am pulling into the lot. It says now open right here on there it is right there doesn't really look like there's a lot of people here so i don't know how what the size is going to be on this one let's see if we can get some front parking here it is open though so i got a few minutes before spirit halloween opens but i want to talk about spirit halloween so obviously spirit halloween's opened a little bit early i think they opened uh maybe two to three weeks ago which was what early august late july i think and i've gone to a total of four spirit halloweens four spirit halloweens now the reason why i'm bringing that up is because i filmed i've filmed at two of them in particular and uh the other two that i went to i didn't film because they were pretty bad they were they, you walk in there and there was like nothing like there were they had stuff in there but it was nothing worth even filming, nothing even like worth even buying. So point I'm trying to make here is that, you know, wait a little bit for you know, to get it closer to Halloween if you're gonna go splurge. Cause I've, I've mentioned this before lots of times. There, it's still early. It's still really, really early. And I know you like some people are impatient. They start buying on eBay and all that. Just give it a little bit because they're gonna stock. They're gonna stock on a lot of the stuff. You, you'll be able to get what you want. Um, unless you have no spirit Halloweens near you, then that's a different story. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. And uh, let's, uh, can't wait for this place to open. It does it does look kind of small though, but I hope they got some good stuff. Show you guys the uh, the size of it. It's like from right there and it goes to, I don't know if it even goes all the way to the end over there, but it's cool because they have a banner right up there too. Man, it had to really start pouring right before I go inside. <laughs> Oh, dude, okay, so this is this is the first time seeing this one right here. This is the Mars Attacks. Let's see if this works. Oh, it does work. Actually, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was gonna say, have I seen this before? No, this is, this is my first time. Uh, of course, this place right here does have their their music blasting. Man, I gotta look at all this stuff over here. Oh, they got the pops over there. Uh, wait a minute, they might have some of those little uh, those little. What do you? I don't forget what you call these things. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so here's the VHS stuff. So they have okay the Halloween one. This is actually one I was looking for. So they have the VHSs. They got it, trick or treat. Okay, so we got some of these. We have some of the Spirit Halloween blind bags, and then some of their little little uh i forget who i forgot what they call these things but look at all these they have a bunch of these little handmade robots and i don't see a pennywise one though there's i have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of stuff here because oh they got the trick-or-treat backpack killer clowns uh-oh i know somebody who wants these i had to send a picture of these to a buddy because he's a big killer clown fan and um i know he was looking for that backpack right there uh, oh look, they got more dog costumes this time around. They have they added some turtle ones. I know I haven't seen those before. Oh, they got sweaters too. Normally it was just like costumes I would see. Okay, definitely a lot more plushies here. We got the Mars attacks. I'm still looking for the pumpkin head. The pumpkin head uh, blanket. That's something I haven't seen yet. Dude, this is. I was wrong. This is a really. This is a really big one. Oh geez, what is this? This is new. Oh.
I think I've seen I've seen a lot of the animatronic stuff here, the baby stuff. Here's um some of the animatronics that they do have on sale. Oh, they have a Mars Attacks mask. I haven't seen that one yet. I've seen photos of it, but I haven't seen it in person. Okay, here is the Spirit Halloween exclusive figures, some of the headlamps that they do have. And then, oh look, see this is my first time seeing this one here. My buddy Terrapops picked this one up for me. That's my first time actually seeing it in store. This one is a lot different from the first release that I have. This one doesn't look as good as the one that came out um, a few years ago. Sidesteppers, because I know there's a Leatherface one, but yep, of course they don't have it. I do want the Leatherface uh, Sidestepper. The Scream one's pretty cool. And then here's some of the plushies and like little animatronics. I haven't seen any new popcorn holders yet this year around. This Sam one's freaking awesome. And the statues, so I have this one already. I have the Pennywise one. Guys, the review is on my channel, check it out. I am tempted to pick up the Leatherface one though. That one I am tempted to get. Oh, this is new. This is new. I haven't seen this one before. <laughs> That's a new one. This one, I didn't know they made this. What's the price? 60 bucks for this one. So it's a replica. That is freaking awesome. There's the the reefs that they have. Man, I'm tempted on that Child's Play uh, little statue that they have. I don't think they have the um, animatronic for uh, uh, the Killer Clowns one. Here is the mask that they do have. So these are the trick or treat masks. And right here is the, the Mars Attacks mask. So this is my first time seeing this one here. And this is, okay, this is a spirit mask. It's not made by like trick or treat or anything. This is, yeah, this is such a, a difference compared to the other ones that I've been to. This is a really, really good one. Here's some Spirit Halloween masks. I actually like this one. It's not a full mask, but it does look cool. And behind this one over here, I think, oh, there's some Scream stuff. I wanted to see, like, I'm, I'm mainly here for a lot of the IT merchandise. The IT merchandise is the stuff that I'm really looking for. But right here is the Scream stuff. And I'm trying to talk really loud because of the, uh, the music. Don't want to get copyright. Chucky. Here's some Sam trick-or-treat stuff. It doesn't look like anything new there. And then here's some more of the Child's Play merchandise that they do have. I don't see any of the Pennywise stuff though. Here are some of the pajamas that they do have. And I know there is a Pennywise one. I remember seeing it last year or the year before. Um, I didn't see it this time around, but this is what they do have available. And here are some of the lunch bags or lunch pails. And uh, doesn't look like any of them are new, but they have a good selection. Right here is their pop selection. So you have some of the, the movie moments from Killer Clowns and from The Corpse's Bride. I do like these. I think these are really nice little display pieces. All right, so I found this little section right here, and they finally have their X-Men 97 display, and it's uh, some of the costumes. They have a Gambit and a Rogue one. If you guys don't know, Gambit is my favorite Marvel character. Big fan of Gambit, and um, I would love to be him for Halloween, but these do look like cheap costumes, but it's still freaking awesome to see that. There is the Storm, and then we have a Wolverine with a crazy oversized mask. Here is their Scream section right here, and you can see they actually have a spoof mask from the Scary Movie franchise, and then this end cap right here has some of the Killer Clown replicas like the Ray Gun, the Pie, the Acid Pie, and then of course the, the Ray Gun. Here's some of their trick or treat stuff here. They have that really awesome mask right here. This is a really cool for display piece. Um, also, they have some pins, which are freaking cool from the candy bar. Uh, they have this really cool orange flannel shirt. And right on this side here, you can see there is some of the Friday the 13th merchandise. And right behind that, we have some of the Freddy Krueger one. This glove here looks a lot different. I don't know if this is new, but it's definitely different from the one that you see right here on the bottom. So you, if you guys know the difference on that one, if it's any better material, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, we have this the, the fedora, and then we have some killer clown masks, which I do own some of those. There's a little bag there, the patches, and the baseball bat, which I do own. Here's the Pennywise stuff right here. But it's not a whole lot of Pennywise stuff that they have. 
Okay, I wanted to see if they had any flash stuff, and here we go, we have the flash suit, and I've seen it before, but right over here, they actually have the Michael Keaton 89 Batman suit, or modern Batman suit, so they do have a costume for it. They didn't know that they made that, and then over here is some of the Suicide Squad and Joker merchandise. Yeah, I might even see this section right here where they have the, um, the Haunted Mansion stuff, so, because there was a few things that I did want, and this is something I did want to pick up. I thought this was really cool. That cup is freaking awesome. And some of the uh, little animatronics that they have, those masks are awesome, but I don't even know if they glow in the dark, but that is something I would want. And then they got some cool little, yeah, they got a lot of stuff at this freaking one. I didn't even check over here because they do have some signs, some wooden signs. Check that, check out this lenticular Chucky one. That one is freaking sick. And then they have, oh man, the Bates Motel. I don't know if it lights up fully or if it's just not picking up. I don't know. We have the, um, oh, like the leather face one. This one like pops out a little bit. And then we, I've seen that one before. Dude, this one's really cool right here. The, uh, does this move? I don't know if this actually does anything. No. Man, they got a lot of cool stuff. The scream one though, this one here, this lent I think it's lenticular or it's like holographic or something. That's pretty freaking sick. Man, ghost face. You got the ghost face knives here. The Bates Hotel sign's cool. Here's a quick look at some of the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff that they have. Quick little look for you guys. And I've seen a lot of these before, but here's like the door covers that they have. A lot of cool ones, man. A lot, a lot of cool ones. I love these reefs. Here's some more just like Halloween decorations. That is freaking awesome, man. This coffin one here with the skull is pretty cool. Same with that lantern is pretty awesome. And then here is a lot of, uh, well, their section here of all their Beetlejuice stuff that they have. And it is a pretty good selection. And here he is. We got Slim right here. This is a huge animatronic that um, is for a really good price for, what, $400? And then they have the Groundbreaker Sandworms here available as well. Yeah, this is this one here is one of my favorite animatronics. Let me see if I can get it to go. I don't know if it's this one. Yeah, this is it. Dude, I love this one. Got your taste of tombstones. In case you're looking for certain tombstones, they got your fix right here. A lot of different ones. A lot of cool ones, actually. But I believe these are styrofoam. Looks like they're just missing the Pennywise one from these little figures. I just want to show you guys just some of the, the masks that they do have here. It's a pretty good selection. Oh, look at the stuff they have here, man. Jeez. I'm telling you guys, this place right here is so freaking sick. Oh, you know what? I haven't seen... Okay, I didn't come, I didn't come to this area here. This is like the large inflatables. Um, I've seen the Pennywise one. Okay, yeah, I have seen the Scream one. I was gonna say, I haven't seen the Scream one, but these are 12 foot tall inflatables that they have here. I want this coffin, dude, this is freaking sick. And then here's some more animatronics, but like I said, this place here is pretty freaking big. I was not expecting it to be this big, and I am quite pleasantly surprised with the size of this one here. That's not, this is just not even like, this is just one side of it. I mean, you have this whole side over here and then it keeps on going over there. But there is a lot of stuff I want to look at. If you're a, if you're a sock collector, they're going to have your fix here for some of the socks, especially for like the blind bags or some of the um, like keychains. They do have a lot of them and they're really, really stocked. I remember the Killer Clown one was so hard to find at one point. Actually, you know what? This one's new. This is a new blind bag set from from Trick or Treat. And then the Universal Monster ones. I do want to pick up, there is one I do want to pick up. I don't think they have it at this location though. I did not see this uh, hoodie right here of Child's Play. It's got all the, oh, well, it's got a lot of stuff on the sleeves, but the good guys in the front. This is, this is a really cool hoodie, but I'm so tempted on getting the, uh, let me see if I can get to it. There's a Trick or Treat Studios hoodie. Hold on, hold on, let me look at these here. Some of the shirts that they do have. Um, this one right here, this is the one I was looking at. I, I, I love this color. I love button-ups and I'm like really debating whether to pick this up. I, re I really like it. And then in the back, it does have a, uh, a patch of, um, what do you call it? It has Sam right there on the back of it. So that's pretty sick. 
I didn't even realize this was the Trick or Treat Studios uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy mask. They did a really good job on these. Hey, this is new. The end cap they have. I've seen some of the masks that they have. These are Trick or Treat Studios. Uh, I don't. I don't think I've seen. I haven't seen the socks, and I haven't seen these before. The little patches and the pins. So that's new for me. There's, they got several of them here, and they got the Invisible Man costume. Yeah, this is this is the one I'm really debating on picking up. I think this piece is so cool, but it's just the price on these things is so it's so pricey. I'm, it's, I'm debating on this one. I'm also debating on the uh, the Jack in the Box from Child's Play, but I mean for sure I'm getting I'm getting this right here. This is freaking sick. I love I like the uh, the it one I got. I don't know if I showed this stuff off yet. There's so much. I'm still like so excited being here right now. But here is some of the uh, the corpses bride stuff. The no feet thing actually kind of reminds me though of Beetlejuice. Figured I'd share this with you guys. I don't know if you guys are 80s fans, but they do have like a 80s uh, section over here for colors, which I, I don't know. I thought I'd share that with you guys. Oh man, we got some really awesome Halloween stuff right here, like little little um, uh, decorations for outside. Same with over here. I've been wanting this one, the fogging skull pile. That is something I've been wanting for quite a while. All right, I gotta make my decisions and get out of here and see what I'm gonna pick up. All right, so I just realized these don't glow in the dark, but it says it right there. These are black light reflectives. Now, this is one I've been wanting too, is the Leatherface uh, animatronic. I think this is gonna be the one that I pick up this year, definitely. I'm tempted to get the, uh, the Pennywise one right here, this little one here. The Scream ones are all gone. It's mainly everything else. And they have a Killer Clown one there too, but the, the Pennywise one, or the Scream ones, is just one left. I didn't even see this one right here. This is a, a reef of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's cool, you got images here of Leatherface and the family, but that is that is something I didn't see the first time, and I think it, it lights up. Let me see here, pretty sure, yeah. I swore I thought it, it said something right now, but just lights up. This is really cool. What are the prices on these? This is priced at 40 bucks. I mean, could you make that yourself? So this one, this one here is actually a new one from the, uh, the little, like little babies. But this is an animatronic one. Check this out. These, I, I feel like these here just get better and better every year. But this is by far my favorite one. The cock. And that's awesome. And this one too, I like this one, that one's creepy. Ooh, it's pouring, all right, I'm done. It's pouring right now. But everything that I picked up right here, this is the only thing that I picked up. Out of all the stuff that I saw in there, this is the only thing. That's like I said, guys, don't splurge right away. Um, there's like freaking so many things that I wanna pick up, but I am gonna wait. This was an amazing spirit. I don't know if it's my favorite one that I've been to so far, but it's definitely one that had newer stuff that I haven't seen in the previous four that I've been to. I'm standing in the rain. Guys, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm gonna do a lot of these walkthroughs in different, different places in Spirit Halloween. Thumbs up the video. Guys, let me know also what you're out there looking for, what you're planning on picking up. Let me know. And let me know if you have one open near you. This is it, Spirit Halloween. Hype, man. I'll see you guys later.